We've been sent this iPhone 8 and it's in for a battery replacement. When we head to settings, battery, then battery health, we get 84% maximum capacity, which, I mean, hmm, does he really need one? So we turn the phone off, unscrew the two pentalobe screws at the bottom and stick the jimmy tool in between the screen and the frame so that we get a gap that we can fit the guitar pick in to break the seal around the edges. Once the seal's broken, we can just give it a little wiggle and pull it upwards and it opens like a book where we can see that somebody has been here before us. They've left their stickers all over the place and missing screws. My next best bit of advice when you're doing any battery replacement will be to get some 99.9% .9 pure isopropyl alcohol and just douse it underneath the battery so that when you've got the screws out and you took the screen off, it's gonna make it really nice and easy for us to get the pull tabs underneath. Four screws that we need to unscrew on the LCD plate. Then we use the plastic pry tool to disconnect the battery and the two LCD connectors then move up to the top of the phone where we can unscrew the three screws, remove the plate and detach the front sensor flex now that the screen's out of the way it means that we can get the plastic stick tool under those pull tabs and pull away the adhesive strips underneath i like to give them a little wiggle whilst i'm pulling them upwards and it just seems to reduce the chance of snapping them although on this one i definitely snap it but we got 90% of it out before, so I'm not gonna wrestle underneath it or do the pry of shame just for that little bit of adhesive. Moving on to the top, these are a little bit trickier to get off around here because the actual strips don't wrap all the way around the battery and the, the tape on it is much finer, so you have to battle a little bit with the plastic stick to get underneath them. But once you're through the adhesive, you can just pull them out like the other ones. And because we've already doused it in the alcohol, they come out quite nice and easily. And once the strips are pulled out, we can just get the plastic pry tool again underneath the battery and pull it upwards. We've just got that last bit of adhesive, what we snapped off to clear off and then dry up any excess alcohol that's left behind. Now that the battery is removed, we're gonna work on the edges of the chassis, removing any leftover adhesive from last time so that our new adhesive will stick nicely to the frame. I use a mixture of the plastic stick and a little chisel sort of scalpel tool with some isopropyl alcohol to get any stubborn bits away. Once all the thick bits of adhesive have been removed, we can use a cotton bud with some isopropyl alcohol just to get any last bits of dirt, grime, glue off of the frame. And with it now clean, we can get our adhesive sheet and line it up and stick it into place. I use a plastic stick again to make sure that the adhesive is stuck all the way around the edges and it just makes it easier to peel it off later on if it's stuck all the way down. Peel back the first layer of the adhesive and now it's time to get our new battery. We're using these ones from iParts for you. They're pretty decent batteries, would recommend them and they rarely let us down. I always stick the adhesive to the back of the battery first and then drop it into place in the housing. It's important to peel the right part of these sheets. We always go for the blue side first and then it keeps the sort of strips in the right place so that we can stick it onto the back of the battery and then peel it off afterwards. Then pull the blue parts of the front tabs off and just fold them over the front of the 
battery. Try and keep that as neat as possible because if they fold and leave, if you make a mess with them, you, you do leave yourself at risk of leaving sort of pressure marks underneath the screen. So it's important to do this part neatly. Once that's done, we can bring the phone back, connect the battery flex first, and then drop the battery into the sort of cradle for it. That means that you're not gonna get any alignment problems, but make sure that you disconnect the battery again before you connect the LCD back to the phone and the front sensor. Once all the flex cables are reattached, we can start screwing back down the plates for the front sensor. And the LCD battery charge port connectors too. Once everything's screwed down, we can turn the phone back on. And while that's booting up, we can remove the rest of the adhesive ready to slot the screen back into place from the top and then the sides. Get the two pentalobe screws back in the bottom of the device. And now when we head to settings and battery health, we can see that we're back to 100% maximum capacity. Test that it charges okay. And then give it a clean before we return this one back to our customer. Thank you as always for watching our videos. If you found it useful, give it a thumbs up. If there's any questions, leave them in the comments or send me an email. Thanks.